gypsies welcome back to my channel um, I thought I'd do this video while I'm driving to the Dollar Tree because I've got to multitask just a little bit today um, it's a gorgeous day it says it's 91 uh, there's not a cloud well not really a cloud in the sky but I wanted to come on here and talk about my first day or my first week of the uh, one meal a day so that I've been fasting for 23 hours a day and then for that one meal a day, I've been letting myself have whatever I want to have. Carbs, yes, whatever. I even had one of the Dollar Tree donuts for dessert one day. Um, so whatever I want to have for that meal, I've been having. So I have biscuits and gravy and bacon and eggs last night. I've had bacon cheeseburgers and tater tots I've had I'm trying to think of what all I have because whatever I crave or what whatever I decide that I want to eat I have it for dinner and that is my one hour eating window and that's what I've been doing so I just wanted to let you know um, in one week from last Tuesday to this morning I lost 13.6 Pounds. So I understand and I do know that it is more, um, you know, you always lose more on your first week. That's just how it goes. But 13.6 pounds, I was very excited about. So um, I just want to talk about some pros and cons of the one meal a day. Um, I've got them written down here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go ahead and start with the pros. Um, I only have to cook one meal a day. I mean, no more cooking two meals whenever I was doing the keto and my husband and family was doing something else. I didn't have, you know, no, have, no, no worries about having to cook two meals. And I kind of, um, you know, talk with my husband about some meals that he might like to have and stuff so I may do things a little bit different in the future but for right now and while this is working I will go ahead and do things this way so only cooking one meal a day is great um, I don't have to worry about bringing my lunch don't have to worry about you know packing a lunch making sure I have something to eat at work or I don't have to worry about going out to try to get something to eat at work, you know, to the restaurants which are totally packed. The drive throughs are totally packed right now. So I don't have to worry about that. I can sit in the car, I can do YouTube videos, I can watch YouTube videos, I can walk, I can read, whatever I wanna do on my lunch break is mine because I'm not eating and I don't have to worry about that. So that's a plus, you know, it get, puts a little bit more time in the day. So that's good. Um, weight loss boom baby 13.6 pounds in a week okay I'm in on that game weight loss um, I already said I eat whatever I want um, if I'm craving something that day like yesterday take for instance yesterday um, the girl I work with was eating the cashews at work and they were crunching and they're salty and they were looking so darn good and I'm like okay that's okay it might trigger that hunger feeling in my stomach and make me really want some cashews but when I get home during my eating window and which was last night it was 7 15 to 8 15 at 7 15 I got some cashews I got me a handful of cashews I'm like I can have my cashews now and you know it totally satisfied that craving which well, they were wonderful and you know Anything that I'll crave that day, if I'm craving something, I just have to tell myself, just wait till your eating window and have some. Whatever it is, have some. So, there's no, you can't have that food. You can't have that, you can't have that. Whatever it is, have some. So, there's that. Um, some, okay, I feel more mental clarity more focus during the day when I'm working. I feel like I've been getting twice as much work done at work at, at my job, if that makes any sense. Because my job is mainly a mental, you know, organizing in my mind and, and, and working on the computer and stuff. There's a lot of brain activity that I need during the day and I've been getting it. I've been very much, I've been 
I can't think of how to pr put this, but I've been way more productive at work because I have less brain fog because, you know, the carbs and stuff, they do cause brain fog, carbs and sugar and, you know, everything that you eat, you know, it does cause brain fog and I have definitely been, have experienced that in the past. So much more mental clarity, which I love. So, um, and also, like if I eat lunch, if I eat a high carb lunch or whatever, I have that two o'clock, I'm ready for a nap, you know, I ha I, so I don't have that anymore. So I can just keep chucking right on through, okay? So that is some of the pros. Now I'm gonna get into some of the cons. Um, number one is, yes, you will get hungry. Um, it's crazy to think that you're gonna fast for 23 hours and not get hungry. But you have to have in your mind and you have to know that most hunger pains will go away within 20 minutes. And I always told myself, you know, you always hear that drink a glass of water if you're hungry or whatever. But today I was having a lot of hunger pains this morning around 11 o'clock. And I said, okay, let's just do this. So I went and got me some water. I drank it and the hunger pains went away. So if you can make it through that mental part of um, I feel hunger pains. I need to eat, you know, if you can make it through that, you are good. You are golden because they'll pass and it'll be okay. Um, hold on. What that says? Can't read my own writing. Um, sometimes during the day, I do feel a little bit weak. Um, I guess, and I guess that's pretty typical, especially during the first couple of weeks before your body gets used to intermittent fasting. So you may have periods of time when you do feel a little bit weak, so, but I'm not doing any exercising or anything like that, so it's really nothing I can't handle. So yeah, you will have that, and you know. Um, hold on. Bad taste in my mouth, yes. Anytime I'm intermittent fasting, I always have a bad taste in my mouth, no matter what. So with this, yes, I do have a bad taste in my mouth. I do um, counteract that. I try to drink, well, with the coffee and the tea that I drink, I don't drink a ton of water like I should. I really want to up my water intake. So, um, yeah, I may cut, cut back on my coffee a little bit and just have like half of what I normally have and then start drinking water and, and go it from there because I don't know if it's just a being in ketosis type deal for a little bit or being, I don't really know how it could be that or being, you know, or just being a little bit dehydrated maybe. I don't know, but I do have that. I do chew some gum. Um, they say that anything sweet can break your fast, even if it's sugar free. So, with the results that I've had this week, I'll still continue to have two or three pieces of gum a day. I try to make them last. Like, I'll take them out and, you know, if I'm going to get ready to drink something or something like that, sometimes, or video, I'll take them out and just put my gum somewhere so I can save it. Because if I can just chew on something that tastes relatively minty, um, it's good. It's good. And I can, you know, I can make it through that. So... I'll still have my gum, and it is sugar-free gum, so as long as I have some, and I do have my watermelon gum at night still, so that's a good thing. I can't do without my watermelon gum. Um, the bank don't look very crowded, so I think I'm going to the bank first, and I can finish this video, so bear with me here. Let me try to keep from running over this woman. Some sites, man. Some sites. Um, I got my thing on. Okay. Oh, irritable. I might get a little hangry sometimes, okay? Um, I have noticed that I, 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 I can get a little bit irritable. So, when I'm like really hungry in the evening time, whenever I haven't cooked yet or whatever, I can get a little irritable if I'm really hungry. So, I can't believe there's nobody in line at the bank. So, hold on one second. Oh. Sorry guys, different angle here. My phone shut off, so it got too hot. So um, I'm just gonna finish up really quick. The only thing I just wanna say on that, um, 
like whenever I said I get hungry and all, I just have to remind myself it's okay to be hungry. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to, you know, wither away in an hour or whatever. It's okay to be hungry. So, and it passes fast, so you don't have to worry about that. Also, one of the, uh, one of the other negative things that I've been experiencing is when I do eat dinner, um, I do carb it up. Um, and when all those carbs hit my system and start breaking down, I start, I get very jittery and like, you know, like, like the carbs breaking down just like they do, you know, if you have a milkshake or something like that, I start get, I get very shaky and I get very, very sleepy. So pretty much I could lay down, take a nap or just go to sleep for the rest of the night after I eat my one meal a day. So I'm definitely like having that in the evening. Usually all my stuff's done for the day anyway. And yeah, so that is one of the things. And I've been studying up on that. And if I would uh, lower my carbs, which I am going to try to do in the future a little bit. Um, as of right now, I can handle that. Um, but like, instead of a hamburger and fries, I may just have, um, you know, like a hamburger without a bun and fries. So, you know, just try to cut them a little bit at a time, you know, just to see if that works. So yeah, I'm just like not, not low carbon at all right now. So, but so far it's working. I will do this every Tuesday. I'll let you know how my, how everything goes. I'll let you know if I've had any troubles or anything during the week, but I just want to say thank you guys for watching and study up on it. I have several books I'm reading right now. If you're interested in it, you can find tons of stuff. At, if you search Google, there's tons of books. There's tons of stuff on Pinterest. There's tons of groups on Facebook and also on Instagram, you know, tons of people that do one meal a day. So they call it O-M-A-D, O-M-A-D. Um, so yeah. So anyway, I just want to give you guys an update. 13.6 pounds gone. I'm super thrilled. I'm keeping it up. It's 1.32. I still have about six hours until I eat. So I feel good though. I feel fine. No headaches. I feel good. So yeah, I feel energetic. I'm going to go in here and shop till I drop right now. So anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching and stay tuned next Tuesday for my next update. Have a great day guys. Bye.